Well, I hope he brings us good luck. Getting ready to go down through the rapids. We uh, passed over something that looked interesting. I don't know what it is, but we're going to find out if we find it again. I don't think that's as interesting as I had hoped. I think a slower, uh, slower peak at it going over it. Yeah, we'll have to jump out and look at that. <laughs> Not sure what it is. Whoa, what it is, really. Um, i to empty my pockets, though. So, in case you haven't figured it out, we're getting ready to go on an adventure today. And it's going to be mostly a um, metal, well, it's going to be a metal detecting adventure. We're going to the spot where I found stuff. And we're going to find some more stuff today. But we're going to take a look at this thing real quick. Well, that's the top of a grill. Uh, I'm pretty sure. We just leave that right there and get a move on. What do you say? We'll find a lot of junk. Like, I gotta get back in my boat somehow. Alrighty, put the trim back. A little tangerine. It's gonna be delicious. That's my lunch, by the way. I made it up to the area that I want to detect today. I've been looking around for about 20 minutes. I've not really found much, but I am finding this like little copper wire. This is an area right where I'm detecting now that I found a bunch of bullets. And I find this, this tiny copper wire. I don't know what that's all about. And I'm just suspecting it has something to do with something they were using or carrying. Could be totally off though. I feel a bullet coming up. We're almost at the honey hole. Well, we got our first boner fired relic. Um, I'm at the spot where I'm thinking we could start finding some mini balls. Got a nice little squeaker there, and I pulled it up, and it, it is a it is a little buckle. You know, very fragile. It really wouldn't work for much other than decorations. But anyway, that was right there. We're getting into an area now where there's some current so we can get you underwater. Up until now, it's just been really muddy, kind of a back eddy in the river. we find finding lots of that uh, little wire. I'm digging, like, pretty much everything that sounds like it could be bigger iron, or something deep so i'm digging a lot of like wire and stuff like that today this is the spot right here up river i haven't really gone for a while so at least not this season <laughs> all right let's do it i was so happy i got my first real bullet signal right there i just wanted to get on the board i was going to get the camera out because i didn't want to jinx myself but it looks like i jinxed myself anyway <laughs> anyway uh it's a sinker it's a lead fishing weight probably an ounce or so and uh yeah they uh sound just like bullets you know that actually feels kind of funky i wonder if that's like a fake lead like that new stuff that they have dixie i'm not sure <laughs> i mean it's so weird i mean we're right in the area where i left off the last time i was here i have not found any civil war bullets but i just like dug a little tiny 22 bullet Look, it had the uh, might have had the casing on it still. Now you got to be careful with these because they actually had little tiny bullets like this back in the Civil War. Now, the American Civil War in the 1860s, in metallic cartridges like Smith and Wessons and stuff like that. I mean, they look like just modern rimfire cartridges. They'll always be rimfire though, never center fire. I suspect this is a you know a modern one, but there's this little spot up here we're going to go to today where. Uh, in the past, I've found quite a few Smith & Wesson rounds and stuff. Because the officers, of course, during the American Civil War, um, they would get whatever, you know, firearms they wanted. And if they had money, they would get, like, uh, the kind that would shoot a bunch of times. <laughs> Not just, like, the black powder ones where you have to load it by hand, you know, with a cap and ball. You know, a percussion cap and a pistol ball. Uh, you know, you put six rounds in it. Once you're done, you have to do that over again. And it takes a while. Get, like, a little Smith & Wesson that is... You know, it's got a cylinder on it and you just have metallic cartridges you can slide right in there and fire off five six rounds pop them out slide five or six more in there so that the officers especially later in the war would often buy their own weapons uh like that so you can find metallic cartridges so don't ever throw them away especially if they're uh, rim fire well guys i'm going to tell you something i have been really 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 struggling today um it's been at least three maybe even four hours since i last turned the camera on um it's been windy and cloudy today i even had to go back to the truck to get another pinpointer because uh the pinpoint i was using i wore a hole in the end. i have not found a single thing or showing you until now 
And it's been, like I said, probably closer to four hours and three. I mean, I don't even have that much more time today. Kind of working my way up, up, up the bank here, and I saw these, like, I think that's actually a plank of some sort. And that, and I came over here. Yeah, that's been uh, hacked with an axe. I got a signal right down there, and I went ahead and dug it. And guess what? <laughs> it's a mini ball. The very first bullet of the day for me. Got the kepi buckle and the mini ball. And a bunch of junk. That is it. Man, it's been a rough day. Um, I got a little bit more river to do here. And I uh, got another spot that we can maybe hit on the way back. To maybe eke out a couple more bullets, maybe. But it's just looking pretty peaked. Let's go ahead and check this real quick. Oh, I'm stand up. See if there's any more signals in here. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe. I hear something kind of chirping right there. That could be a bullet, but I've been finding so many little pieces of junk in here. I don't know. There's, there's some noises in here. Let's go ahead and put the pinpoint on that. I'm going to leave you out if you don't mind. Can't really see a whole lot with the water the way it is, but it's actually it's not like it's going to be too deep. <laughs> it probably is. Yeah, I don't now might be um yeah i think there's something right here but it's going to be deep i mean the other one was down uh there's a hole right there i mean almost a depth of the pin corner so this is probably going to be the same that piece of wood yeah it was underneath that wood kind of fan it okay i think it moved george costanza all right, not in the hole, so it should get here. Like I said, I did find a lot of nails too, so. Ah, oh, it's a bullet! It's a bullet, yay! I got two bullets today. What do you think? Two mini balls. Um, there could very well be more in there. Yeah, let me just, I'm just going to dig around with a pinpointer for a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and turn you off. I'm not hearing any other really good squeaks, but at least we got another bullet. That's enough for me to at least release the video. Three targets. Well, I might as well show you this, too. Um, this is the kind of nails I've been digging. I've actually dug a lot of these today. This is a small square nail. Um, but, yeah, this is the hole where I dug it too many balls. And a few more signals in there, so I'll keep at it, but might just be the nails well guys i'm almost back to the boat ramp and i have not found anything else um well since i last talked to you except this is my last find of the day buddha <laughs> maybe someone pitched him off the bridge for good luck what do you think <laughs> well i hope he brings us good luck i'll we'll see you on the next one i hope mother earth she ain't saying exactly what she's saving where it is or what it might be mother earth you are my lady my big round baby i'll rock you until i go to sleep she don't care if you're dying or if you're living